Here's the latest edition of the Costco mm. haul. And I have to be completely fair. I originally went to Costco this evening with the intent of picking up things that would make our lives easier in summer. And I have to be honest, I didn't find a lot. So I decided to pivot and talk about things overall that I think are worth purchasing. It goes without saying, Costco does a really nice job with fruits and vegetables, a lot of organic varieties. Berries are really popular in house, so raspberries. These mini cucumbers are a great option. I've talked before about a lot of their organic pastured meat that's available. I didn't purchase any of that because I don't need any today. They do have great chunky guacamole that's already pre-made, makes it really easy. You can throw one in the refrigerator, one in the freezer. I have quite a bit of eggs. This is 24 eggs, so two dozen eggs. Cheese, they have a lot of cheese options and my family eats quite a bit of cheese, so two and a half pounds of cheddar cheese will go quickly. I also saw some of Amy's breakfast links. These are very popular. In my house, you could eat these for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Really clean company. Also with that, this is not the larger variety size, but they are carrying Siete tortillas. If you're not familiar with Siete, it's a clean company. They have almond flour that's available in Costco, but I've seen in Whole Foods and other grocery stores, you can get chickpea, cashew, lots of different options. Cassava flour, if you don't tolerate nuts, like my son does not. Looking at Primal Kitchen options, so I think it's easy sometimes. It can get expensive when you purchase sauces, but this buffalo sauce, it's made with avocado oil, is really economical. You can use this as a dipping sauce. You can use it on top of chicken. You can use it with vegetables. They also had an economy size of primal mayo. This is made with avocado oil as well. And this is what we have in our home. Moving on to meat. They had these beef filet tenderloins. These are wrapped in bacon. Actually a pretty good price. And in my house, filet is kind of king, um, at least with half of us. My husband and younger son really like fatty cuts of meat. They have a lot of these Kevin's paleo dishes. This is six and a half servings. This would be like a snack to one of my teenagers, but this one in particular, the chimichurri beef is really good. No junky seed oils, but you do have to be careful because I'm noticing that Kevin's is starting to use some seed oils. I saw another product that had sunflower seed oil, which is definitely something you want to avoid. Now moving on to Fun Foods. Aldine's is an organic ice cream company. They have a really amazing footprint in regular stores, but they have this I'm gonna use the word economical. 18 uh, round ice cream sandwiches. As you can well imagine, my teenagers kind of devour these, but much more cost effective than buying six in a box that lasts like a day and a half. Next, we have the Unreal Dark Chocolate Coconut Minis. This is still candy. This is not a freebie, but this tends to be a cleaner brand and having a larger bag just makes it a whole lot easier because again, the teenagers go through a lot of food. My oldest is getting ready to go to an engineering program at Duke uh, for the next couple weeks. And he wanted me to pick up things that he can have in the dorm room. These are bare organic apple chips. They have uh, Fuji's, Reds, and Cinnamon. There's 20 packages in here. It's only 13 grams of carbs, so it's not going to disrupt your entire day. These tend to be pretty sweet because they're quite concentrated, but if you're looking for something sweet and you want something that has a little bit of fiber, these are not bad in terms of macros. And then I also found these Jackson's avocado oil sweet potato chips. Again, about 14 grams of carbohydrate. So a bag of these, even if you're an adult, uh, is not gonna derail your macros. And these are actually quite good. I, I buy these with some regular, you know, I buy the bag and then usually portion them out. But another nice option, and they are non-perishable, just like the apple chips. As I said, there wasn't a ton in Costco, but one of the things Costco does well is organic fruits and vegetables. They have a lot of pastured organic wild caught meat and fish, that's a great place to go. But in terms of things that were free of seed oils and free of a lot of soy, this is the best that we had today. Keep me posted on what you'd like to see more videos on.